Hello, I bought a new lens for my Sony camera. This is the lens, that's the camera. Um, I want to see what's in the box and I want to share with you what's in the box. So, so what's in the box? Uh, not this lens, we already looked at that one. This is 24-70 f2.8. Sony Alpha 1, put it over here. And over here we have the big one, the Sony 200. 600, it doesn't even fit in the screen, so, okay. 200, 600, 200, 600, from an f5.6 to 6.3. Uh, best, best product 20 and 21, full frame lens. What else is on it? Lots and lots of noise. Okay. Nano AR coding, no idea. ED glass, sounds impressive. Uh, a spherical lens, direct drive, that's important for the 30 frames per second on the uh, Alpha 1. Optical steady shot, that's really useful. Uh, so it's extra stable, how do you say? Uh, teleconverter uh, compatible. So if I want to use a different teleconverter, I want it to go to 8. 140 millimeters or uh, 1200, I can do that. Moist resistant, well, it's all focus hold button. I'm really happy about that. Lens hood, lens case, tripod mount. Okay, so let's have a look. In the box. This is a warranty paperwork. This is for the lens. And this looks like a lens case. Is that case cover? What is it? I usually call them elephant socks. And now you know why. It's an elephant sock. Look, small elephant, but okay. You can use it as a hat too, but okay. Uh, feels very, very high quality. But there is basically no padding in it, only on the front end about half an inch. So that's a bit disappointing. Let's hope that's the only one that's disappointing. But no, wait! For a $2,000 lens, you get a plastic strap. And what is it? Polyester probably? Well, uh, let's not use that. I'm going to make my own uh, later this year, made from a leather, so you actually, well, you know that that's, that's better. It will last you a lifetime if you take care of it. That's the lens strap. What's here? Is there anything in it? No, that's just nothing. Let's put that lens in there. Ta ta ta. Oeh, more cardboard. And what's that? That is one year extended warranty. So look at that. According to European law, they need to give you at least two years. So I don't know what that is. Extended, is that three years? Um, well, let's go to the lens hood first. So that's the lens hood. Which looks nice. And you know what? I never understood. Why do they make these white, not black? I'm going out. It's a black inside. But I'm going out for birding in camouflage clothes with a white lens. I mean, I don't get that. Why don't make it black like Nikon or something? So this is the lens. Let's put that box aside. I must say this is a bit cheap packaging it's like why bother you know you can't even you can't even oh. anyway this is the lens it's not that big my hand for size it's not that heavy it's roughly the weight of my uh, 200 500 nikon lens here are the buttons 
I assume they all do the same thing, but we'll find out later. This is the front element. Nice. And this is the thing I like. Very short throw from, what is it, 200 to 600, so I like that. It doesn't extend. Um, and that's something I really like. That's something I didn't like about the Nikon, but hey, you know, preferences. Uh, lens color. It can be replaced. So I have to see if I like it and maybe I'll replace it later. These are the buttons. Auto focus, manual focus, uh, full zoom range or 10 meters and beyond. I think it's 30 feet. Optical steady shot on or off. That works in combination with the A1. So it should in theory make it more stable for, for birding and that kind of stuff. Or wildlife photography when you run away from a lion. Uh, mode 1, 2 and 3. One is for panning. Two is for a little bit more erratic. And three is when you do the 100 meter hurdles, I think. I have to check that out, so I will look into it later. Um, so it looks really nice. It's a bit... Let's see how it looks on the A1. Ooh. It's a lens with a camera. That looks really, really impressive. Yeah, that looks really, really nice. Yeah, I can, I can. It's a bit tight on the fingers, but I might. That's a camera thing. It's a bit squishy. But then again, I think it should be okay. I'm gonna buy a grip later, I think, because of the battery life, so I never run out. And yeah, it's heavy, but lighter than my D850 with the uh, 200 500. So looks nice. That's the, uh, what is it? 200 600. So let's put the lens hood on. Okay, that's one thing I am not a fan of. It's a clicky thing. On the 2470, you have a button you have to push to unlock it from the from the from the lens, the lens hood. So this one, it feels okay, but I would rather have that clicky thing. You know that 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 you have to push a button to unlock your lens hood. But for the rest, hey bird, do you want to make my day? Fly, pew 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 pew. Anyway, I mean, do you want to make my day? Click, 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 click. Or well, it's so fast I can't even say click fast enough. Um, this combination is perfect for birding, I understand. In combination with the uh, Fast TF Express A card, I have 160 gigs. The body, the A1 and this lens combination, you should be able to do a maximum of 30 frames per second if you use the release function. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the release settings for it. I will do a settings video maybe in the future if people want to see that and maybe I can you can download my settings file. Uh, if you want to have my settings file for your A1, uh, let me know in the comments and I will make that available uh, on a later, later date. So this one, I have to look for a camera strap or a harness or something to carry it around because it is reasonably heavy but you know big lens. I'm really impressed the way it looks. I'm even more impressed with the statistics on this uh, and the technical details on this list and uh, this lens and A1 combination. How it will perform, I was planning to go out last weekend but it uh, rained. It was it, it, crazy amount of rain. You couldn't go out, so that's why I didn't. So maybe this weekend, and I will let you know. So that's my unboxing of the uh, 200 and 600 millimeter Sony lens in combination with the A1. A1 
2600 lens hood. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you want to like and subscribe, please do. If you don't want to do it, it's fine. Just, just be nice. Okay, thank you. Uh, until uh, next week. Okay, bye bye. Shit, very, very still. <laughs>